Ron Rivera joining us here on the show. How are you, Coach? I'm doing great, Rich. How are you? Well, what meetings does a head coach of the National Football League have on the last Monday of June, Coach? Well, just just stuff going through, uh, you know, looking at some some paperwork stuff that we have as far as getting ready for training camp. You know, I like to make sure I got everything done. That way, once I leave on vacation, I don't have to worry about anything when I get when I get back into town. Okay. When is vacation? Next week, like most of yep. America. It, it's coming up. It's coming up real soon. So I'm excited about that. Where you go? Can I, if you don't mind me prying, oh, what, what yeah, is that? We're going to go back to the West Coast, you know, visit uh, visit family out there. Uh, kind of looking forward to it. be a nice little break. Okay, so then you tap out, but do you look at film at all? I mean, how how, how much can you as an NFL head coach unplug, coach? Oh, I'll, believe me, I'm going to unplug. I'm going to leave everything at home. I'm, I'm not, I'm not bringing iPads or, or my Microsoft tablet. I'm just leaving everything at the office, and we're going to go out and uh, enjoy family for, uh, for a good week. What's the last movie you saw? <laughs> Um, uh, oh, you know what? My wife and daughter took me to see Wonder Woman. Oh, okay. What'd you think? I liked it. It was fun. It was entertaining. You know, it's, I tell you, she's uh, uh, the, the young lady that plays her is a very athletic young lady, and uh, and <laughs> yeah. it, was, yeah, it was it was an interesting uh, it was an interesting movie. Do you think she runs a faster forty than I do, Coach? Is that what you're saying? You're saying Gal Gadot <laughs> runs? Might. A... I tell you, she just might. Mm hmm. I bet. Uh, how's your quarterback doing? He's Ron. doing good, you know. Um, um, you know, from from all all, uh, all indications, he's, he's right on track. Uh, you know, I like with what our trainers are doing with him, and uh, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing him in a couple of weeks. Well, I saw a hype video just shortly before you joined us uh, on the show today that the team made a video with music and him throwing in the <laughs> locker room his first his first throw since shoulder surgery. We're in a new era, uh, yes. coach. So, so he's throwing just lightly um, off field, or is he? Where, where is well, he in his rehab, Cam Newton? It's, it's, my understanding is it's, it's, it's right on tracks, right where the trainer wants him. And in fact, uh, during that little session, I was told you know the trainer had to calm him down because he, he said he started to put some pepper on. He said, "Oh, a little too soon. Let's let's slow it back down." So, my understanding though is it's going very well right now. So, when your training camp opens up, you're you think he'll be full go? What do you well, think? I, 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 I believe so. I mean, again, I don't want to be ahead of the trainers. I, I know they're, they're going through the whole process of this rehab program, and uh, you know, hopefully, we'll, we'll have a good sense for it once we get that we get close to the training camp. Okay. And uh, Christian McCaffrey, your your first, uh, your top draft pick this year. You finally got a chance to take a look at him uh, in the mandatory mini camp. Based uh, the reason why he wasn't there is a rule in the NFL that does not allow a prospect to join the team until the academic year of the school that he just left is finished and Stanford didn't finish until June. What do you think of that rule? Well, Coach? Uh, you know, I, I think, you know, the rules are locked in. You know, the rule was put in place originally for a reason, you know, but with, with, with the way the players are, are now today in terms of looking towards their career, a lot of those guys don't, you know, they're not enrolling in, you know, the next semester or the next quarter. So, um, you know, and it's by choice because you, they don't know where they're going to end up playing. So a lot of them seem to be doing that. And, you know, all they're really doing at that time is they're just working out, getting themselves ready. And, uh, you know, I think it needs to be re revisited again. You know, I don't make that decision, but I just I just think it, it might be time to revisit the rule. What is the rule in place for, best you can tell? Well, I think it was so that, you know, we don't put pressure on the players to come out early. You know, we, 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 we encourage them to stay in school. We encourage them to do the things that they need to do in terms of, um, you know, of, of, of their, their graduation. And, uh, you know, so it, it's really, you know, it's, it's just one of those things I need to protect the player. What about now maybe instituting a rule that if the kid sits out of his bowl game because he wants to stay healthy for the draft, he's already indicated it's time to start working out as a professional. Oh, <laughs> yeah, but, but then, but then, you know, but then, you know, now you're encouraging guys to stop playing, you know, mm -hmm. and that's one of the things that we don't want to do. We don't want to take it, you know, take. We don't want to put a player in position where he's got to make a choice like that. Um, that that'd be unfair to the universities. Ron Rivera, Panthers head coach, joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show. Where did you stand on that subject while interviewing Christian at the combine, and whenever you did throughout the talent evaluation portion, because that was such a big conversation that McCaffrey sat out his Sun Bowl game against North Carolina. Uh, and I know some guys that I work with, Marshall Falk, other Hall of Famers, had issues that uh, that that McCaffrey sat out. Where did you stand on the subject? Well, quite honestly, the young man had to make his own decision, and, and that's really the way we looked at it. You know, he made a decision that was, you know, geared towards his future more so than anything else. And and so, you know, at the end of the day, 
it's something that he decides. Some people have opinions, and, and they're going to live with you know their, their decisions. But yeah, he was very upfront. He was very frank about it, and he was very honest. And you know, it, it's just one of those things that that was his decision. So you don't view this as potentially a window should he have say a walk year as a professional that he might take no. a different approach while being on your no. team. No, I don't believe so. I, I, I believe this is a different set of circumstances. And this is a young man looking towards towards the future. And it played out. It played out in the last two years where you saw some terrific football players that were basically getting ready to go into the draft, both injured. How is Michael Orr, it's so rare to hear about an offensive lineman still being in a concussion protocol in the middle of the summer, Coach? Uh, Mike, the, only, the, only, the biggest thing I just know is that he's in, in, the, in the protocol right now and going through the process. And, you know, all indications right now is, is, is he's going to continue in it and we'll go from there. How's Luke Keekley doing? Luke's doing great. Luke's had a great off season. Good, good with the OTAs and mini camp, and you know we're excited to see him back on the football field. Tell him our training camp. How concerned were you when you saw what we all saw on that Thursday night? Where he... I was very concerned, you know. But but again, you know, just looking, you know, looking at, at what we, we we tried to do in terms of you know the the, the approach of getting him you know back on uh, onto the football field and doing things you know, the way the doctors prescribed, you know, we, we, we followed the protocol the way it was intended. And, and as a result, you know, I made a tough decision at the end of the year not to play him. If I could give you the, the proverbial magic wand, Coach Ron Rivera, to change a rule in the National Football League, what would it be? Um, in all honesty, I, 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 there's a couple I changed, but one would be having to answer the, uh, the protocol questions, you know. <laughs> I think that I really do. I think that's a tough situation. I think there's a lot of pressure on a lot of people, you know, players, coaches, and doctors. Meaning what? Like me wanting to find out from you if Keekley's coming out or Orr's coming out that that shouldn't be asked of a head oh, coach? Yeah. yeah, I really do. I think that, you know, those are things that, you know, we've got to be careful of because I don't, you know, I don't think we should, you know, we should be answering those questions. We really don't know. I mean, we as players, don't, I mean, as coaches, excuse me, don't know. And I think sometimes we, we, we may put a little bit of undue pressure on, on, on players about having to, you know, to get healthy fast. I mean, uh, the truth of the matter is the only one who really knows is the player. I mean, he's the only one who really knows, who knows how he truly feels. And, you know, I think if you know, we leave it to the players and the doctors, you know, we'll, 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 we'll get guys back when, when they're ready to play. And if I could allow you to have one item in the NFL that is currently not reviewable by replay that you as a head coach said, let's let's put that in there, let's review it, what would that be? Oh, well, you know, I mean, there's so many people have talked about having every play or the ability to, to, to challenge every play. You know, sometimes you want that, sometimes you don't. Um, and and, and I, I just, you know, I just think we're, 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 we're in a very – touchy situation because, it, you know, the referees are trying to do the best they can. I mean, they're trying to judge the game at, at real time. And, and, and we've just got to, you know, we, we, I think we as, as coaches, you know, we've got to learn to be patient with them and, and, and just appreciate their tough situation. And then there's the, the relaxation, if you will, of the celebration rules that your quarterback, <laughs> your quarterback still found a monster loophole in with his uh, dab of a couple of years ago. <laughs> Um, I'm I'm wondering what you think of that. You know, I I think that's one thing that we regulate just a little too much. Um, I, I'm kind of glad they brought it back, but you know, I do think that there's a certain point where you got to be very careful. You got to be willing to keep you know, the, the the good taste uh, in you know uh, in, involved of the game. Mm -hmm. I think that's you know that's probably the biggest thing that we've just got to be aware of because there's a lot of young people that are watching the game too now. Well, in the couple of minutes I have left with you here, there is, however, going to be a clock, a play clock, the moment that a touchdown <laughs> is signified this year. You know where I'm going with this, and that uh -huh. if there is no replay on the score at the 22nd mark of that play clock. You are going to have to get your place kicker out there to kick a an extra point. Uh, and if, let's just say, one particular player is dancing uh, a couple of seconds longer or, let's say, is dabbing in the manner that your quarterback has, let's just go out there and just uh -huh. put it out there. Have you spoken to Cam Newton about keeping an eye on a play clock or anybody no. else on your team? No, that, that, that will come once we get into training camp when we review the rules. You know, it's just... One of the things that we can do, you know, we get those set of rules from the referees. Yep. You know, the video we go through, and we'll we'll do that when we get to uh, we get to the appropriate time. Well, will number one uh, have a uh, a specific conversation with you? <laughs> no, I think in general the whole group will. Okay, and then lastly, I know you got a meeting to get to. Uh, we we saw Ryan Khalil 
have a, uh, a fun video at Cam's expense <laughs> that we yeah. were told by Ryan was uh, received its inaugural uh, screening in one of your PowerPoints. Is that the <laughs> truth, Coach? Yes, it did. It did. You know, we, we had a little bit of fun about it. You know, and again, it, it all goes back to the whole thing that, you know, you got to be careful what you, what you put on social media. Um, you know, you got to make sure you, you, you're putting the, the right types of things out there. And, you know, it was it was kind of fun. We had a good fun. We had a lot of fun with it. Well, but you also have to know that Cam would have a sense of humor, right? Before oh, yeah, you aired. I knew he did. I knew he'd appreciate that. That's for sure. Okay. Coach, thanks for the time. Enjoy your uh, vacation when you get it, okay? All right. Appreciate it. You got it. That's Ron Rivera. All right. Panthers head coach joining us here on The Rich Eisen Show. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on radio stations across the country and audience. If you like that, please download our app. There's lots of fun things there other than just more of the videos you just saw. You can call us from the app. You can email us from the app. Just download it. Trust me, you'll enjoy it. 